everyone. This is a lesson on perimeter. I'm going to show you formulas and uh, do examples on how to calculate perimeter. But perimeter is a distance around an object. So we're going to start with a square. A square is a shape, a quadrilateral four-sided shape that has all sides equal. And these square things there means 90 degrees. So you add the four sides. So the side side plus side plus side plus side. So the formula will be four side. A rectangle is a four-sided shape. Two opposite sides are equal. This dot line, two lines, two lines. I mean this one is equal to that one. That one is equal to that one. So the when you calculate the perimeter, you're going to add that, that length plus breadth plus another length plus another breadth. So when you write the formula, it's two length plus two breadth because this side is exactly the same as that. You have two of those and you have two of those. A triangle. When you calculate a perimeter of a triangle, you just add the opposite sides not the opposite, all the sides that are there for a triangle. So a triangle will have three sides. So the side side plus side plus side. And then for a circle, a circle will have a radius. The outside part or the perimeter of a circle has a special name. It's called the circumference. The outside part of a circle is called the circumference. That's why we don't have a P there. It's C standing for circumference is equal to 2 pi r. And then pi is a constant and is given as 3.14. Okay, so I'm going to start uh, using examples. This is the first example that we're going to use. The shape is a rectangle because I see this side is equal to that side. This one is equal to that one. The square things means it's 90 degrees. So the formula for the perimeter of a rectangle is 2 length plus 2 breadth. Is equals to 2, my length is 7, plus 2, my breadth is 5. And then you punch that into your calculator, get 2 times 7 is 14, plus 10, then you get 24. And then you write the units that you have. Don't forget to write the units. So this is how you calculate the area of a rectangle, not the area, the perimeter of the rectangle, the distance around the rectangle that's five seven five seven so we'll get 24. let's look at um the next shape okay our second example is a triangle when you look at this triangle this side is equals to that side and then uh, we have a four there so a perimeter is the distance around the triangle so perimeter is equals to three plus three plus four it means our perimeter is 10 meters. The distance around this triangle is 10 meters. Okay, and then we have a circle. The perimeter of a circle has a special special name. It's a circumference. So circumference of a circle is 2 pi r. r is the radius, is the distance from the center to the circumference. So the 2 comes with a formula. The pi is 3.14 and our radius in this circle is 2. So we take our calculator, we punch it and let's make it 2 centimeters. So it's 2 centimeters. So we're going to punch it in our calculator. 2 times 2 times 3.14. So our circumference is 12, 5, 6 centimeter. Okay, the last example that we're going to look at is when you are given perimeter and you're going to use the perimeter to find the sides. We're going to use a square. Let's look at that example. Okay, now in this example, we're given a square. All sides are equal and we have these 90 degrees. So this is a square and we're given the perimeter of a square is 36 meters. So we want to know what is one side. So we're going to use the formula for perimeter of a square. Perimeter of a square is equal to four sides. Right, the perimeter is 36. Is equal to four sides. So we divide by four both sides. And then 36 divided by four. Nine is equal to a side. So it was meters, so it will be nine meters. It means each side is 9 meters. So 9 meters is equal to one side. 
okay this is the end of, of our lesson thank you for watching